Everyone talks about health care and the effects of health care and the high cost of health care. There are hospitals and there are emergency rooms right here in our state that are going under because they cannot refuse care to people who are going in there that are legals. We've got to change that. And this is not about me being an uncompassionate person. I am very compassionate. But my compassion starts with people who are Americans. Because I believe one thing. There are three types of people that should be here in this country. You're Americans, those people that want to be Americans, and those people we invite here as our guests. Other than that, you don't deserve to be here. This is, without a doubt, a premier national security issue. The number one language being learned by Hezbollah Islamic terrorists right now is Spanish. See, no one's telling you about if you go along to some of these little base camps that they use along our border. You're finding Arabic translation into Spanish translated into English. They're coming across our border. And at this time, regardless of what the president says, we are at war with a very vile enemy. And that enemy is radical Islamic terrorism. And they are here in our country. There are 36 training camps. There are one, there's one in northern Florida. There's two in my home state of Georgia. There's even two right outside Washington, D.C. And for those of you that uh, take your summer vacations in New York, upstate in New York, there's a place called Islamburg. If we don't get serious about securing our border, we are going to lose this country. And what should we be doing? The United States Border Patrol is being outmanned and outgunned on that border. Why don't we take that Border Patrol and put it under the Department of Defense so they can get the proper training, they can get the proper equipment, so that they're not down there with a 9mm going up against the drug cartels who have AK-47s, RPGs, heavy machine guns, mortars, and now they're going to have Black Hawk helicopters because our Secretary of State just said we give them over to the Mexican Army, which I guarantee you they're going to end up in the wrong hands. Yes. See, our government wants to castigate us as the enemy. Our president went down and said that the problem is here in the United States of America. Well, you know, let's face it, wherever he goes, he's going to apologize for this country. I can't stand the guy. It is not our fault what's going on in Mexico. There is drugs going on. And no, 90% of those weapons aren't coming from the United States of America. They won't even tell our DEA agents where those weapons are and the serial numbers. But see, this is once again a ploy by this government to open up the amnesty, to, op to close down our Second Amendment rights. And never forget this, my fellow Americans. In 1930, there was a gentleman in Germany that took away private gun ownership. And you know what happened to that population. You must be well informed and well armed because this government that we have right now is a tyrannical government. And it starts with this issue with illegal immigration. We cannot allow them to do what Ronald Reagan unfortunately did in 1986. There cannot be another amnesty program. Two to three million in 1986 has now morphed to 12 to 15 million if we even know. Yes. We do better tracking UPS packages than we do illegal immigrants in this country. But now is the time, because we are standing on a precipice, and in front of us is the abyss. And I see a lot of young people out here. What, what will history say about us at this time, right now in 2009? Will we take a stand, or will we allow this republic to go away? And when we have to sit around and tell our children and grandchildren there once was a place where you could be free, where there was liberty and there was justice for all, or will we capitalize on what you started Wednesday and now we take it to the next phase? We take it to Lexington and Concord because now is the time for us to take action. Now is for us the time for us to rally and stand against this government and stand against the people that would take this country away. You cannot go away. You cannot go into your homes. You cannot put down your signs. Do not put down your flags. Do not put down your enthusiasm and your emotion and your love for this country.
Thomas Paine in 1775 talked about these are the times that try men's souls. When the summer soldier and the sunshine patriot would fade away. Do not fade away. Do not let the people on the far left, these people with this socialist agenda, believe that you're going to fade away. By 2010, through the ballot box, we've got to take this country back. That's but before 2010, you got to keep the pressure up on them. Because let me tell you something, they're scared of you. The reason why they're calling your names, because they're scared of you. Because one thing they teach you in the military is how to smell fear. They are absolutely terrified right now. And you got to keep the pressure on them because they're going to crack. And come 2010, when I go up to Washington, D.C., I'm going to look Nancy Pelosi in the eye. I'm going to look Barney Frank in the eye. And I'm going to tell them one thing. Pack your crap and get out. Stay vigilant. Stay focused. This is our country. And let me read you one quote as I close out from a great American. And it says, In the first place, we should insist that if the immigrant who comes here in good faith becomes an American and assimilates himself to us, he shall be treated on exact quality with everyone else, for it is an outrage to discriminate against any such man because of creed or birthplace or origin. But this is predicated upon the person's becoming in every facet an American, and nothing but an American. There can be no divided allegiance here. Any man who says he is an American but something else isn't an American at all. We have room for but one flag, the American flag. We have room for but one language here. That is the English language. And we have room for but one soul loyalty, and that is a loyalty to the American people. Theodore Roosevelt, 1907. God bless you all. God bless America.